hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about what do people secretly envy about you but won't say. So pile number one, you're going to be the Amethyst Heart Crystal. Pile number two, you're going to be the Turquoise Heart Crystal. And pile number three, you're going to be the Black Obsidian Heart Crystal. So again, pile number one, Amethyst Heart Crystal. Pile number two, Turquoise Heart Crystal. And pile number three, black obsidian crystal. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Bawan! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the Amethyst Crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So I'm getting like your fire is what people secretly envy about you. Okay, because like uh, my sage, um, one of the sage sticks almost fell. Well, it fell, but it almost burned my backdrop. So yeah, that's what people secretly envy about you, but won't say like your fire, your desire, your your passion, your zest for life, okay? So we have the Hermit, okay, Virgo energy. You could be a Virgo here, don't have to be. But people secretly envy the fact that you are somebody who could go at it alone with the Hermit card. Like you prefer to have your own alone time. Um, you perform well when you're by yourself it's not like you don't work well within a team like you're an amazing team player but you're so self-sufficient so independent that you could do a lot of things on your own without the assistance of others or support of others and some people could secretly envy that about you because maybe they need support they need assistance they lack autonomy maybe you're just like you know like just yeah like i said so independent that you don't really need the assistance of others you're so driven you know what you want out of life so it's really easy for you to get the get things started and like you know get set your plans in motion and somebody doesn't want me to talk okay so what do people secretly envy about you but won't say my pal number one what do people secretly envy about you we have the Six of Swords. So it says the end of challenging times. Um, things, uh, things are looking up. A welcome relief. Finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or illness. Travel or relocate. So I'm going to with the Six of Swords energy. People secretly envy the fact that you are able to move on to calmer waters when it comes to challenges. Like you don't let your circumstances define you. Even if you like, let's say you have like a moment where you need to recoup your thoughts, your emotions, you go through that. That's normal. Okay. This is what I'm getting here. You go through that, but then you get back up and then you keep on pushing and keep on moving and people secretly envy that about you. Like your resilience here. 
what do people secretly envy about you wow they envy your ten of cups so it says happy marriage ha a happily ever after emotional contentment a loving relationship with your children raising children wisely and successfully people could trust you maybe there's also that people secretly envy the fact that other people trust you and you're emotionally content like with your life you're emotionally content with how far you have gotten in your life and you keep on pushing i feel like your resilience is another thing i keep getting resilience and if you are in a happy marriage people secretly envy that about you that you're able to make it work or you are an amazing partner or you have an amazing partner that is willing to put in the work that is necessary in order to make your relationship last okay what do people secretly envy? Wow, we have the emperor. So it says logic and organizational uh, organizations will increase your success. Take charge of the situation, accept a leadership role, structure and discipline. So you are a structured and disciplined individual. You may have Aries in your chart. Um, you have amazing leadership skills. So people are secretly envious of that. You could be in a leadership position. You don't have to be, but you, you do have the qualification and the characteristics of a leader. We have the King of Wands, motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious, take a leadership role, step into the spotlight, public speaking, keep your eyes on the big picture, communicate your vision, don't be sensitive to criticism. So this is what I'm getting here. You are definitely a leader, my pal number one, and this is what people secretly envy about you, but they won't say, like you have amazing leadership skills. You're able to get things into, uh, get things started, okay? You set things in motion. You are somebody who is really good with um, taking the lead. You step into the spotlight. Some of you could be influencers here, so people could secretly envy that about you, that you have, you're confident enough to put yourself out there to shine okay so you may have leo in your chart as well we have the magician here magic is alive in your life what you need to be successful will manifest if you believe it you could do it so you have um people secretly envy the fact that you are somebody who speaks life into your plans you set things into motion so we do have magician which is gemini and virgo energy mercury energy so we also have the what i'm getting with the magician people secretly envy the fact that you are somebody who's articulate you are somebody who's magical you possess multiple skills and talent and people may feel like they don't okay and they envy that about you and you utilize your talents and your skill set to make something out of your life yeah, we have the Knight of Wands, passionate, confident, charismatic, restless, events requiring immediate action, trust your instincts, instincts, stay focused, a passionate relationship. So also, I feel like if you are in a relationship, maybe your relationship is extremely passionate, your lover is passionate, they show you affection, um, they display a lot of affection in public, okay, so people can be envious of that. Maybe their partner is not affectionate, they don't touch them like the way that your partner do. And with the Knight of Wands, I'm also getting like, you're, you're extremely confident and charismatic, people love your vibe, people love your energy, you're passionate, people are drawn to you, okay? Wow, we have the Ten of Pentacles, financial uh, financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family tradition, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge. So this is giving me your foundation is what people secretly envy about you. Maybe you come from a wealthy family or you have established a uh, financial foundation secure foundation for yourself and your family so you could be an entrepreneur here or you are working towards making your dreams come true there is peace and contentment in your life so there's you, you live a peaceful life and you do so by minding your business and some people secretly envy that about you because it's like they want to know what's going on in your life they want to take what's yours they want what's yours like it's like they want to replicate what you have got going on but it's not feasible because they don't have the skill set they don't have the talent they don't have the discipline to see it through so it's only like it's only something that they could attain in their mind but they don't feel like they could attain it in real life okay we have the eight of pentacles learning all you can about a subject or a career going back to school taking a seminar 
or finding a mentor, attention to details, skilled work that you love. So you are a skilled worker with the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is also an energy of perfectionist. So you have perfected your craft, you pay attention to detail, you love what you do, so it comes to you naturally, it's not forced. So this is the reason why you're being blessed because you're following your bliss. And people are secretly envious of that because they are afraid of following their bliss. They are afraid of like being the best version of themselves which requires them to step outside of the comfort zone, which they cannot do. They rather stay in their comfort zone and this is why they're not getting what they want and they're watching you getting blessed and they're envious of that, okay? What do people secretly envy about you but won't say? We have justice here. Be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of the situation. You will win if your position is of integrity. So you have integrity. So this is Libra energy. So you could be a Libra in here. Don't have to be, but you have integrity. You do things that is right, that is fair, that is just. We have the Queen of Swords, brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situation or people that no longer serve you, seeing their humor in difficult situation, focusing on career, divorce, or unmarried individual. So you could be the Queen of, Queen of Swords when it comes to cutting off people, releasing situations, or people that no longer serve you. And some people may feel some type of way about that with the queen of swords because it's like you're not letting anybody waste your time or you're not letting anybody make you feel some type of way about standing up for what you believe in okay like you don't focus on the negative you don't focus on the like you don't let people drain you okay this is what i'm getting here and this is what some people envy about you because maybe them they allow people to treat them like crap or stay in unhealthy situation or unhealthy marriages or relationships that do not serve them but they just because out of fear of judgment from other people or society they stay in the connection while you don't care you honor yourself you honor your values and people envy that about you because they wish they had the guts to do what you're doing we have the king of pentacles so it says compassionate accomplished charismatic grounded a time of great success financial security and prosperity the maddest touch Everything turns out beautifully. A supportive parent or spouse, a good person to work for. So you're definitely somebody who is supportive. You are accomplished. You are compassionate. We have charismatic again. So people secretly envy the fact that you are charismatic is within you. It's not something that is on you. It's your personality and you are a grounded individual. Okay. You are down to earth. We have financial security again and prosperity. So your financial abundance is something that people envy because you worked really hard to accomplish that. It says here, the two of pentacles working too hard or multiple jobs. They need to balance and have fun and bring, uh, sorry, the need to bring balance and fun into your life, juggling multiple priorities, balancing the budget. So you may, like I'm, what I'm getting here, yeah, even if you are the two of pentacles where you have multiple things that you're juggling at once, you know how to do that. You know how to keep it grounded because we have the king of pentacles. So you have the ability to do so. And now we have the empress at the bottom of the deck. So it says, take time to take action give birth to your dreams creative projects will be successful abundance and prosperity so prosperity again and abundance so people secretly envy that about you also your beauty with the empress what do people secretly envy about you but won't say wow we have the queen of wands like you're extremely confident you're a passionate individual you are extremely beautiful and people secretly envy that about you wow we have the ace of swords this is the truth but they also secretly envy the fact that you are somebody who is articulate. You are, I, I heard also flamboyant. The Ace of Swords is not flamboyant, it's more the Queen of Wands. But the way that you articulate yourself, it's like, you know, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of fire. Okay, some people may mistake that for aggression, but really it's because you are a passionate individual. What do people secretly envy about you but won't say, yeah, your drive, your determination with the chariot, your ability to get things done, what do people secretly envy about you but won't say my pal number one yeah your passion ace of wands you're a passionate individual 
you're not afraid of competition seven of pentacles you are willing to put in the work okay with the seven of pentacles you are patient individual people envy that about you because maybe they are impulsive they they like to cut corners while you don't you like to you know do what you, what you gotta do in order to make it happen even if it takes you 10 years you don't care as long as it happens for you that's all that matters you don't have to cut corners you don't have to sell yourself short or you don't have to sell your soul in order to make it happen we have the eight of wands yeah eight of wands energy this is like passion this is driven this is taking action towards what you want to accomplish okay uh, being assertive this is what I'm getting here and people secretly envy that about you because you know what you want out of life and you're not afraid to go and get it and that's what some people envy Wow we have the Emperor again guys it says own your space with confidence it says war conquest victory strife, ambitious divine masculine structure and control this is exactly structure and discipline so you are the emperor here whether you are an aries or not you have emperor like quality you are somebody who is structured somebody who is disciplined somebody who's ambitious here you are victorious you have unshakable will and people secretly envy that about you because they don't have no willpower they may have dreams everybody has dreams but not everybody accomplishes their dreams in this lifetime because they are either worried about what people are gonna say what people are gonna think of them okay and then they stop themselves from accomplishing what they really sought out to do so what do people secretly envy about you but once say we have the death card Scorpio energy growth always means always means leaving something behind transformation ending cycle transition time and necessary change yeah you don't you're not afraid of change you're not afraid of transforming or becoming better you're not afraid of growing into something better in order to achieve your goals and people secretly envy that about you we have temperance seek balance and create a calm atmosphere moderation tranquility serenity um, combination of forces realization so you may have um Sagittarius in your chart you could be a Sagittarius Scorpio cuz don't have to be but with that energy this tells me that you are somebody who has you know you're extremely balanced you know how to balance yourself out to balance like you know things around you and people secretly envy that about you you're down to earth there's a lot of moderation you're not easily swayed or manipulated we have the king of cups it says support yourself before you can support others subtle crafty wisdom a fierce uh, fierce nature would calm exterior considerate balance generous so balance again you are definitely a balanced individual and that's what people secretly envy about you like you know how to compose or stay grounded within a like a like you know if you're going through some sort of toxic situation you know how to stay grounded and people envy that about you we have the Empress okay so we it says be happy with the results of your action so it says fertility beauty happiness nature pleasure development and success so people secretly envy your beauty the fact that you are fertile so that means you could create things you could bring things into existence with your thoughts okay and people secretly envy that about you but they won't say what do people secretly envy about you my pal number one but won't say what do we have here okay we have too many cards what do people secretly envy okay we have the four of wands okay the four of wands it says here be ready for the opportunity you've worked for cel uh, celebration stability home rest cleverness beauty romance merit milestone community so your beauty again guys your stability your home like i said with the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups people secretly envy your stability in your home that you have i don't know if you guys heard that confirmation but yeah this is what i'm getting here okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video.
So my pile number two, you picked the turquoise heart crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number two. What do people secretly envy about you but won't say? What do people secretly envy about you but won't say? Okay, let's see. We have the three of pentacles. I'm getting like your reputation. Your reputation precedes you. You're very skilled and talented and also your collaborations. Let's see if you get a lot of collaboration. If you are a YouTuber or an influencer, people collaborate with you. You have amazing ideas. You have great work ethics, okay? With the Three of Pentacles, people see you as an amazing team player. So what do people secretly envy about you but won't say? What do people secretly envy about you but won't say? So we have the chariot. Okay, so it says reward that comes from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower, public recognition. So your determination and willpower, your reward that comes from your hard work, people envy that about you, that you are somebody who goes hard for what you want, for what you believe in, and you make it happen regardless of like how difficult it might be, okay? You have willpower. Wow. It says here, ego. This is the devil. Um, the illusion of being trapped. Accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness, addiction, or unhealthy habits. So I'm getting like you have willpower over your unhealthy habits and any addiction. Maybe some of you overcame an addiction that was plaguing your life, I'm getting. And people are secretly envious of that because they could still be um, stuck in that addiction or trapped into that addiction, okay? This is what I'm getting here with the ego. You have mastered your ego. You're not letting your ego run you. You protect, like you control the ego. You protect yourself from your ego. You don't let yourself be run by it or ruled by your ego. This is what I'm getting here. So you have control of your addictions if you have any. You have control of your habits. If you see that you have an unhealthy habit that is plaguing your life, you make the necessary choices changes in order to become a better version of yourself and people secretly envy that about you because they make excuses as to why let's say that for instance they they smoke cigarette every day and they buy let's say they buy a pack of cigarette every day and they give themselves excuses as to oh i started when i was really young i started when i was in high school that's why i can't quit like it's just an excuse like yes it is hard to kick any habit and i'm not knocking down anybody who has a unhealthy habit but you do have the power if you really want to to break the habit it's not going to be easy but it is feasible because there's many people that break broken in a habit that was unhealthy and they if they could do it you could do it too so i'm getting like you're the type of person that's like no i'm not gonna let this habit take over me i'm not gonna let this habit run my life i'm going to take control of that and people envy you for having the willpower to do so with the chariot energy okay we have transformation this is um scorpio energy and we have here um it says a significant life experience that it requires change to be made powerful and an often unexpected revelation breaking free from of procrastination releasing old beliefs system so this is what i'm getting here you transform yourself like this is what i'm gonna, like something to do with um, bad habits that you overcame and um, obstacles that you overcame and people from your neighborhood or people from around you that are still doing the same thing or envious of you for having the the energy the willpower the strength to overcome that this is the king of cups so trustworthy honorable devoted cautious someone you could completely trust a situation that is safe a solid romantic relationship hidden but well intended intended emotions a chair charitable benefactor 
seeing a counselor so you're definitely a trustworthy honorable individual people trust you in your community you could be a pillar in your community and that's what some people secretly envy about you they wish they had that title but the reason why they don't have that title is because they, they haven't earned it they're not honorable they're the type of people that may cut corners or do things that are not that are unjust okay what do people secretly envy about you but won't say yeah we have the queen of swords it says here experienced uh, sorry brilliant experienced humorous um judgmental releasing situation or people that no longer serve you seeing the humor in difficult situation focusing on career divorce or unmarried individual so with the queen of swords energy this is giving me the vibe that you are somebody who's extremely intelligent experienced humorous um judgmental it could be like you are a great judge of t of character releasing situation or people that no longer serve you like i said like you have the ability to release things and this is going back to the ego which is the devil unhealthy or addictive pattern thought patterns it could also be a thought that is reoccurring that may have like stopped you from moving forward in your life and you overcame that and some people are envious of that because they can't do that they feel stuck they feel trapped they allowing their circumstances run their life while you don't we have the nine of pentacles enjoying the fruits of your labor hard work that has led to a luxurious life buying yourself something special happily and successfully self-employed enjoying your solitude so this is going back to the three of pentacles how i said that you are your reputation precedes you you have amazing work ethics with the nine of pentacles is confirming what i just said hard work that leads to a luxurious lifestyle people secretly envy your lifestyle let's say if you live in a beautiful condo if you live in a house you bought your own house you bought your own car or you have your own car you have your own like you know you're self-employed you make your money differently you don't work a nine to five or maybe you even work a nine to five but you also have a side hustle and it allows you to live a comfortable lifestyle with the nine of pentacles and people are secretly envious of that they wish they had your life they wish they had your skill set and your talents and your drive because it's like they're letting their addiction run their life so that's why they can't live the life that they want okay they're not taking control of it we have the king of wands so it says motivational inspiring theatrical ambitious take a leadership role step into the spotlight public speaking keep your eyes on the big picture communicate your your vision don't be sensitive to criticism so i'm getting like you're motivational you're inspiring you could be in the spotlight okay um and you have amazing leadership skills you could be a public speaker as well and people are secretly envious of that like how talented you are how bright you shine how much success you're getting okay public recognition some of you we have children or childhood revisiting old dreams or plans embracing your inner child the return of people or romances from your past romanticizing how things used to be so i'm gonna like maybe you have like people could be envious of your family your children or maybe you are living a childhood dream or you have embraced your inner child maybe i feel like some of you could be doing something that you always wanted to do since you were a kid and people are envious of you for following your dreams for having the guts to do so i keep getting that vibe like you following your dreams and people are envious of you for that what do people secretly envy about you yeah you see we have the ten of pentacles and we have the magician so the ten of pentacles says financial security for yourself and your family inheritance or retirement peace and contentment in life honoring family tradition pride in the family tree passing on knowledge so i'm getting like heavy on your financial security with the nine of pentacles maybe you come from poverty or you come from lack or it was maybe difficult for you growing up it could be family members especially with the six of cups that are envious of your success they're envious of how far you have gotten in your life and they still stuck doing the same thing especially if they have some sort of addiction here and we have the magician it says magic is alive in your life what you need to be successful will what you need to be a success 
will manifest if you believe it you could do it so this is what I'm getting here people are secretly envious of your magician like quality you could be a Gemini or a Virgo so we have Gemini Virgo Cancer Capricorn Scorpio so you could be any of those signs you don't have to be you could just embody that energy but people are secretly envious of your ability to manifest things into existence for yourself the fact that you believe you still have like you see with the six of cups your inner child is still intact even if you have gone through obstacles and challenges you have not lost your lost your inner wisdom your inner child okay your innocence is still intact and people are secretly envious of that like you have not like you have gone through obstacles and challenges this is what i'm getting here okay like life was not easy for you my pal number two however just because life was not easy does not give you an excuse to be bitter or resentful because there's nobody in this planet that had an easy life yes there's some people that you know may have had like a better head start in life but everybody has some sort of obstacles or challenge that they have to overcome it's not a, like a measure of which one is greater than the other because we all have our own spiritual path but you're not letting life's obstacles and challenges make you bitter and this is what some people are secretly envious of like your heart is still pure we have the king of pentacles compassionate accomplished charismatic grounded a time of great success financial security and prosperity um the maddest touch everything turns out beautifully a supportive parent or spouse a good person to work for so you see this is what i'm getting here you are compassionate accomplished charismatic grounded people are secretly envious of that is qualities that you possess that cannot be bought it cannot be thought it's just something that you either you have it or you don't it could be cultivated if you want to because people could change you could see like a quality that you like in someone and emulate that and you know cultivate that for yourself some people instead of like seeing it and admiring it and cultivating it for themselves they envy it so this is what i'm getting here you're being envied for your personality what do people secretly envy about you but won't say with 20 cards what do be just one please what do people secretly envy thank you we have the eight of swords so it says here the illusion of entrapment a lack of self-confidence that make you feel helpless being afraid to take action take responsibility for your life now so i feel like this is these people's energy they're envious of you for taking responsibility you have gotten yourself out of the eight of swords energy and you have taken responsibility for your life and they're envious of you for that yeah temperance card sagittarius energy I'm just going to cover it. Yeah, I see three of pentacles. Again, so temperance, energy, Sagittarius energy. You are a well-balanced individual. You're wise beyond your years. People are secretly envious of that. But with the three of pentacles, you are disciplined. You are somebody who is putting in the work. We have the ace of wands. You're fiery. You're compassionate. You're enthusiastic your driven your drive your your zest for life is what people secretly envy about you but they won't say because they don't have that like i said it's like some people that just gave up on life because things were getting hard you kept on pushing you kept on striving even if it got hard even if it seemed like the odds were against you you kept on pushing and this is the reason why you're in the nine of pentacles energy or you are getting there people are secretly envious of that they're also envious of your um, wisdom yeah your strength we have the death card Scorpio energy again with transformation and we have strength yeah your inner strength your courage they're they're envious of your courage your stamina your your resilience here is something that they secretly envy about you with the strength card and the death card especially with the strength like your inner strength is unshakable and people are secretly envious of that because like I said, yeah, you stand your ground with the seven of wands. You don't let life, obstacles, challenges um, overtake you. Like you believe in yourself. You believe that you could do anything that you put your mind to. And people are secretly envious of that. But they won't say. It's people around you, people from your past, family members, heavy on family members that are secretly envious of you. But they won't say it because they are embarrassed, Some, especially if they're older than you because they feel like they were supposed to be the one stepping into that power 
Uh, we have the Queen of Cups. So it says, be open to receive the healing and nurturing you need. Imaginative, kind, good nature, compassionate, calm, receptive, and embodiment. So you're definitely imaginative. So this is the reason why you are getting what you want. It's like you know how to manifest things with ease. You're kind. We have the magician here. We have, you can make your imagination real. Creative power, skill, adaptation, originality, self-confidence. And that's what people secretly envy about you, like how original you are. Like you're just different. You tap into yourself. Like you don't take, because we have the magician twice. So you may have Gemini and Virgo in your chart more than once. But what I'm getting here with this energy is that with the magician, because of the fact that you're very skilled, you have creative power, you're adaptable, you're original, and you're, you're confident in yourself, people secretly envy that about you because they wish they had that. They don't... Wow, guys. I know you guys heard that. They feel like they, ha they, they wish they had that, but they don't. We have the emperor. It says, own your space with confidence. It says, you see, your confidence is something that people secretly envy about you. It says, war, conquest, victory, strife, ambitious... Uh, ambition divine masculine structure and control you have that you have control of your life you have control of what's going to happen to you like you don't let life control you or circumstance control you and that's what people secretly envy about you but they won't say we have the death card again so it says growth always means leaving something behind you're not afraid of leaving something behind you're transformative because it says transformation ending cycles transition time necessary change like if you need to change something you're not afraid of changing it like you're gonna go for it like if something needs to be released from your life you will release it and people secretly envy that about you because they like to get stuck like i said we have the high priestess cancer energy so trust your own counsel first change flu uh, fluctuation wisdom sound judgment common sense awareness and intuition so you're highly intuitive maybe i feel like you knew you had to leave some people behind and that's exactly what you did and some people are envious of you for being able to release yourself without any guilt and we have the queen of wands you can always call on your natural confidence guys confidence keeps coming out so your confidence is really what people envy about you the most uh it says warmth passion enthusiasm determination adaptability steady force independence so your independence your passion your determination your definitely your confidence is what people secretly envy about you but they won't say okay so that's all I have for you, my pile number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pile number two. Bye. Hi, Bell three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pile number three, you picked the black obsidian crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So, my pal number three. What do people secretly envy about you but won't say? What do people secretly envy about you, my pal number three, but won't say? What do they secretly envy about you? Ooh, we have the Empress. Okay, we already know what that means. Your beauty, your creativity, your talents here. People secretly envy that about you, but they won't say. Like how talented you are, how amazing you are. This is what I'm getting here. People secretly envy that. Especially if you are a woman here, your beauty is on it's like breathtaking okay like it's exquisite you have this beauty about you that is just like um 
it's unique you have this unique look it's uh refreshing even if you wear makeup i'm getting like you don't have to wear that much makeup okay it's like just a little bit of like you know uh, foundation um concealer lashes brow and that's it or maybe you do a little bit of blush but you don't really do too much okay and even when you do not wear makeup you still look very beautiful and people are secretly envious of that okay like i heard family members and friends sometimes you're not invited to parties because of that reason okay some of you may feel left out but other people you know when you want to go out maybe you're always left out or you're never invited and that's the reason why you're not invited is because you are extremely attractive here with the empress energy and they are envious of that because you steal all the attention all the shine is on you so because of that they don't want to invite you because they're afraid of you taking their spotlight okay so just understand that when you're not invited is because you are a threat what do people secretly envy about you but won't say what do we have here wow god six of morals it says victory a wise choices to bring public recognition and success promotions awards and scholarships so you are a victorious individual with the six of wands okay everywhere you go you get public recognition that's why i was getting like the attention is always on you you may be the type of person that get free drinks okay free meals okay you don't even have to do anything it's not like you have to sell yourself to get it it's just like your energy people want to give you free stuff people want to do things for you people want to go out of their ways to please you and people are secretly envious of the power that you possess to make people do things for you without asking we have the page of cups sensitive open-hearted inexperienced moody messages re uh, regarding relationships new emotional experience a romantic encounter social invitation or events heightened psychic abilities so with the social invitation in events it's like you always get invited to places you know like people people that are drawn to you invite you they want to take you out you are you're courted and this is what people secretly envy about you that's why they don't want to take you out places like your friends or your family members because you are always the person that people are drawn to so let's say for instance you go out clubbing with somebody and then you get in the club for free and your friend has to pay they will feel some type of way like what the heck why do you get in for free and i have to pay okay this is what i'm getting here people are secretly envious of that or maybe you're at a club or you're at a a lounge or at some sort of gathering and people just serve you food you don't even have to ask oh can i have a plate or can i have a drink like people just come up to you be like oh i i poured a drink for you or i did this for you you know they're like they go out of their ways to make sure that you're comfortable and the people are around you are seeing that and they're envious of that because it's like it's a power that you have it's an energy that you have that draws people to you and make them want to do things for you and people are secretly envious of that but they won't say we have the queen of pentacles we have generous practical gracious materialistic the ability to make anything more beautiful a love of family and and home be practical about your process a love of art and beauty a sensible approach so you are extremely beautiful you have a love of art and beauty you have a sensible approach to life you have the ability to make anything more beautiful so you could be a fashion designer here you could be a home um, interior designer as well i'm gonna especially interior maybe your house the way that you set up your house or like your decoration in your home is like you could have the same house as someone else but the way that you have your house decorated is like on, off the chain i'm getting and people are secretly envious of that but they won't say like this is why some people they come to your house to steal ideas from you okay what do people secretly envy about you but won't say what do people secretly envy about you we have the wheel of fortune and we have the knight of cups so the wheel of fortune says a fresh new start or the end of delays 
sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel or a new vehicle. So people could be envious of your car that you have just received. You could have Sagittarius in your chart because the wheel of fortune is Jupiter energy. So wheel like the, the wheel is always turning in your favor. You always seem to land on your feet like a cat. And we also have a fresh new start. So you always get like a fresh new beginning in life. Like, you know, after any delays or obstacles, always things works out in your favor and people are secretly envious of your luck, your abundance. We have the Knight of Cups. So it says romantic, flirtatious, in introspective, flaky, falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situation or topic that makes your heart flutter, a love of wow a love of art and poetry so art you could be artistic here i'm getting like very romantic or people are romantic you bring a romantic side of others you always have like i just feel like people are envious of the fact that you draw love to you easily people just want to be with you people want to be in your energy they just love you okay this is what i'm getting here and people are secretly envious of that we have the eight of pentacles yeah you're very skilled and talented and we also have the ten of swords okay so with the eight of pentacles it says learning all you can about a subject or a career going back to school taking a seminar or finding a mentor attention to detail skilled work that you love so you are a skilled individual you are crafty people are secretly envious of your work ethics as well with the eight of pentacles you're very skilled at what you do you pay attention to detail so you could be a perfectionist here you go above and beyond and people are secretly envious of that we have the ten of swords the end of a situation that brings relief sadness or both the opportunity for new for new happiness a weight off your shoulders the end of an addiction a melodramatic reaction so we have the end of an addiction so maybe you were able to cut off some sort of addiction or you know how to release situations that do not serve you you're not afraid to walk away from things that drain you you don't let people guilt trip you into staying in a toxic situation and people are envious of you for that because maybe they tried or they feel guilty for leaving someone behind while you don't care you just move on if you feel like it's not for you what do people secretly envy about you but won't say yeah we have the queen of wands so it says brilliant talented independent controlling there is nothing you can't do believe in yourself never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true the need for balance between career and personal life so you are a brilliant individual you are extremely talented and independent people are intimidated by that and they are also envious of that because you believe in yourself you believe in your ability to make your dreams come true and you know how to balance your career Career and your personal life and people are secretly envious of that maybe they do too much of one and then they can't cope with you know balance the balancing act and people are secretly envious of you for that what do people secretly envy about you but we have awakening this is the hangman a temporary pause for reflection and insight and awakening where you see things in a new and a whole new light embracing your uniqueness charitable action so you are unique you are different you see things from a different perspective and people are secretly envious of you for that for looking at life differently from they from how they do it and why they're envious as well is because they don't understand where you get your perspective from how do you see things differently like what is it that you like how are you triggered to see diff things differently and how does your mind work it's like they're intrigued by your mind but they're also envious because they don't feel like they possess this quality within them okay we have the strength card so it says personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness compassion that brings about forgiveness realizing that you're stronger than you knew you're very strong so you may have leo in your chart it says personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness so you assert yourself your power with kindness like you're not aggressive it says compassion that brings about forgiveness you're a compassionate individual you're understanding and people secretly envious of the fact that 
you're able to compose yourself in a stressful situation you're not going to be aggressive you're not going to be like you know trying to bully your way into someone's life if you feel like things are not progressing the way that you want and you're you're trying to inspire some sort of change you're not going to do so by being aggressive or being a bully or being a tyrant you're going to do so by showing with your action that you know if somebody's not behaving the way that you want them to behave or they're not acting the way that you want them to act you will release them with love and you're going to continue on your journey and you're not going to try to insult them or make them feel bad for not being what you want them to be you're going to release them with love and you're going to allow your action to set the tone on how you want to be treated and people are going to follow suit and this is what i'm getting here okay and people are envious of that aspect of you we have the four of cups it says uh failing to recognize a magical opportunity missing the point the distraction of daily life discontentment or boredom loss in your own world it says wake up so what i'm getting here i'm not really getting that this is your energy this is more what people are envious of like you're able to seize a magical opportunity and you don't miss the point you don't get like you don't allow life's obstacles and challenges bring you down you're more confident in what you you're able to do you go for it what do people secretly envy about you but won't say okay we have the page of wands enthusiastic optimistic creative impatient news of exciting opportunities um, allowing your creative creativity to soar do things that fuels your passion finish what you start so enthusiastic optimistic and creative this is what i'm getting here this is why i was getting like the four of pen the four of cups is not really your energy is like more what people are envious of while they would like look at an opportunity that's being presented to them as like you know a lot of work you will look at it as an opportunity to change an opportunity to grow and people are secretly envious of you because of that okay because of like the fact that you see things from a different perspective and you're able to capture opportunities while other people pass and let them pass by like your eye you see things differently from a lot of people we have the ten of pentacles yeah your abundance your ability to create um, abundance for yourself as well and we have the king of pentacles your stability people are secretly envious of your stability your ability to make things happen for you we have the five of wands people are envious of you because you are ambitious here with the five of wands you're not afraid of competition you like i keep getting like you're not afraid of putting yourself out there yeah you are resilient with the death card scorpio energy you're practical as well what do people secretly envy about you but won't say wow we have the ace of swords like you speak the truth you're honest in your dealings. You're, you're a great communicator as well. People secretly envy that about you. And people secretly envy your accent. I feel like some of you may have like a very beautiful accent. Or you may speak more than one language here. And people are secretly envious of that. And maybe it's because you see how people don't invite you. When you speak, people are intrigued. They want to know, oh, where are you from? Like you have a sexy accent. You have a beautiful accent. Like, you know, that's what um, it sparks conversation, your accent. And people are envious of that. Or like you're extremely articulate. But I feel like some of you, a lot of you may speak more than one language here. And that's what people secretly envy about you. We have the Ace of Cups. Like, yeah, the amount of love that you get from others. How people are so drawn to your energy. People are just like mesmerized by you. And people are envious of that. What do people secretly envy about you but won't say what do we have here wow your strength leo energy you don't know your own strength until it is tested self-assured confidence passionate pa i'm like passionate passion resilience courage inner power yeah people are secretly envious of that that you're self-assured yet you're confident your inner power you're resilient you're not easily swayed or manipulated okay people cannot bully you or make you do things that you don't feel comfortable doing what do people secretly envy about you but won't say Woo! we have the hierophant understanding your beliefs value and boundaries it says here teaching morality education divine wisdom kindness and tradition you are a traditional individual you are you have morality you have divine wisdom you are you are the wise counselor 
and people um this is what i'm getting here they they're like they can't handle that they can't handle that you have values we have the empress here so definitely you're valuable you have morals that you abide by and people are secretly envious of you for that because maybe they don't value themselves they don't value their morals or their tradition or anything like that so they're mad at you for upholding yourself to you know your standards and you only allow people like that in your world if they don't uphold certain standards they gotta go and it says use the dynamic energy of a leader of a leader visionary successful swift expansion strength power will courage leadership so your leadership skills is something that people envy a lot about you and your confidence here because we have confidence in, we have power we have success we have courage and leadership we have kindness here with the queen of cups be open to receive the healing and nurturing you need imaginative kind good good nature compassionate calm receptive embodiment so people are secretly envious of that about you your imagination i also get like your intuition because you are receptive okay you are somebody who is in tune with your emotions but also the emotions of others around you okay people are secretly envious of that because they don't have they're not in touch with their feminine side they're not in touch with their intuition maybe their intuition is blocked while yours is not is it is also expanding and people relate to you you have this power and your power is subtle is not aggressive because we have the strength card it is very subtle so people don't even know that you're the one calling the shots some people they wish they had that power they have to take it by force while you it is giving to you freely okay people just want to help you we have the strength uh sorry the uh, the emperor own your space with confidence it says war conquest victory strife ambitious divine and i keep saying ambitious ambition divine masculine and structure and control yeah you are a structured individual okay like you're like i said earlier you're not easily easily swayed or manipulated and somebody doesn't want me to talk okay and we have ambitious ambitious oh my gosh ambition <laughs> you are an ambitious person okay what do people secretly envy about you just one card please what do people see thank you oh we have seven of swords so it says guard guard against deceit or concealment dishonesty betrayal strategy tactic trickery low self-esteem but it says guard against deceit and concealment so you are somebody who is guarded like you know how to pick up on deceit and concealment so you're strategic or a tactic you have amazing tactics so you are able to discern i'm gonna like discernment and people are secretly envious of that like they can't pull the wool over your eyes this is what i'm getting here with the seven of swords you're strategic in your approach or maybe you with the seven of swords because like positive sides of seven of swords is moving in silence you know how to move in silence and people are envious of that they know like you're the type of person that you know when to say something and you know when to keep quiet about your business okay you know how to be strategic all right so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three bye